Hi guys, and welcome back. What am I saying? Why am I saying that in such a weird way? What am I doing? Hi guys, and welcome back to Irony Completed. Please excuse the fact that I am like dying of heat exhaustion today. It was like raining just before I left the house. So I like, took a cardigan, took an umbrella, like tied my hair back and everything. And then it was really hot and really sunny the entire time that I was out in town. So I mildly died. I'm like sweaty and disgusting. And that's just something that you're gonna have to deal with. My exams are over now. I'm done with my second year of uni, which is a absolutely terrifying thought. And obviously me and my friend went shopping so <laughs> we could celebrate and spend some cash and just like treat ourselves for doing all our exams and stuff like that. So went shopping today and there are a few other things I picked up a few weeks ago or like when I, just before I got back or just after I got back to uni and that. Almost all of this is beauty related. So I will get the non-beauty related things out of the way quickly first and everything else is like makeup, skincare and that kind of thing. So I will show you what I bought. It's a good mix of drugstore and high end and some very, very exciting things. So I hope you're as excited as I am. My eyebrows like too on fleek today. Like I feel like this one is like really like, <sighs> do I have sharpie brows? No, I don't have sharpie brows. Also, let me know what you think of this lip color cause I, I've had this for like two years and I just never wear this color. So I wanted to wear it for this video just to like prove to myself that I would wear it. It's an MUA one. I think it's Lilac Bell. And it's a really nice lipstick, I just don't think these kinds of colours suit me necessarily. So let me know what you think about this lipstick choice. Is it questionable? Probably. That bird though, that was so close to my window. I only got one clothing thing at this juncture. Probably gonna try and find some like dresses because I've got like a ball that I'm going to and like some other stuff that I need to buy outfits for. But um, bought this t-shirt from H&M. It's just like a grey, well it's more like a vest than a t-shirt I guess. And it says, I grew up with mermaids. And my friend saw it and she was like, if you have to buy that. <laughs> Cause I am a mermaid. I am a mermaid. Um, and it's just a really nice soft cottony fabric from H&M and it was only 3 99 so I kind of had to get it because mermaids. The only other non-beauty thing that I got was a candle and this is a pineapple and ginger scented candle from Primark. It's like in this little glass jar. It's slightly different from the other jar candles from Primark that I've had in the past but this one is pineapple and ginger scented like I said and it smells so good. It smells really really summery and I just wanted a summer candle because I don't have any candles like that I can use at the moment. I've just been burning wax melts like oil, oil melts and also incense uh, but I wanted like a summery candle scent because obviously incense and oil melts they only last a certain amount of time whereas you can leave this burning for like a long time if you're in the room and are safe with fire so I might like this now actually and I really really like Primark candles this was only £1.50 and all the Primark candles I've had in the past I've really really liked I'm gonna light this Okay, on to beauty. Let's get some of the boring things out of the way. Simple was on three for two on their face wipes and I have been obsessed with the micellar ones lately. I bought the micellar ones, I hauled them not that long ago um, in my like spring haul that I did and I've been using them to take off swatches and to take off uh, makeup and I actually think these take off makeup way better than the original simple ones, which I really like the original simple ones but these remove makeup better. And I decided to get three packs because it was on three for two so I'm nearly out of the pack that I bought last time so these will last me a little while. I also think that I'm gonna take these with me when I go on holiday just because I hate taking like a full skincare routine with me on holiday and these are really good because I really do remove all traces of makeup but like if I wash my face in the morning I don't have like stuff left over on my skin the way that some, some face wipes do and they don't break me out or dry my skin out. So I really really like these and these are really great especially when they're on offer. Three for two is a great deal. And then I recently ran out, as you will soon see in an empties probably, of my Boots Mechanics Micellar Water, the Sensitive Skin one. And they were out of the Sensitive Skin one and I wanted to try a different Micellar Water. I've tried the Garnier one and I like it. I haven't tried the Simple one and I haven't tried Bioderma and I've tried the Soap and Glory one, I like that. But I wanted to try like something completely different that I hadn't tried before and I wanted to try Bioderma because actually my, per my personal teacher at uni, she recommended me Bioderma. But they didn't sell it in the boots that I was in and I just, I just needed some Micellar Water because it's my favourite way to clean my face in the mornings. This is a really long rant for something really boring. Um, but I, they did have the Botanics uh, Hydration Burst Micellar Water, which I've never seen before. I've tried the pink packaging one and the green packaging one, but not this blue one. But this is for dehydrated and sensitive skin, so it still is good for sensitive skin. But it doesn't have marshmallow like the one I usually get does. It has cl clary sage. It effectively removes makeup and impurities, and it basically has the same ingredients, just different extracts in it. So I thought I'd give this one a try instead of my usual one, and I'm very excited to try it, honestly. Uh, another kind of 
<laughs> kind of boring, kind of not thing that I bought is uh, a new hair dye. Um, I have quite bad like roots at the moment and because my natural hair colour is a dark brown, it's a very cool ashy dark brown and um, and the warmth that I put in my hair with the burgundy, like, maroony kind of hair dye, uh, it's kind of, like, really obvious that I have, like, really cool toned roots. Anyway, I also wanted to go a more intense red for summer, so I decided to buy the Schwarzkopf Live Real Red. This is the colour 035. Um, I think I've used this in the past. I had red hair, like, as a teenager all the time because I went through a real like hardcore emo phase and I had like bright red hair and I used to get in trouble for it at school like all the time so I think I've used this colour before actually but um, I just wanted a brighter red for summer because this is kind of like a autumn-y colour I think but I really like my hair red I've been getting loads of compliments on it um, my grandma's friend even complimented me on my hair colour so I wanted to keep it within the same colour family just like a more summery shade so I'm very excited to use this Sticking with drugstore products, something that I repurchased, I've already mentioned that I repurchased it but I'll feature it in this haul anyway, is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is my second tube of this and I really really like it. My old one just finally ran out plus it was over the three months and I feel like you shouldn't be putting that back on your eyes. It's just got one of these like curved plasticky bristle ones and this is my favourite drugstore mascara so I had to repurchase this. When I went to repurchase it, it was like buy one get one half price on Maybelline, so I also decided to try out one of their new Vivid... <sighs> I can't talk. I also decided to try out one of their new Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This is the colour... 05 Nude Flush. It's like a nudie pink. I love these like dusty, like dusty rose pinks for spring and summer. Um, I've tried this out once. It doesn't really dry down matte like a traditional liquid lipstick does. Um, it remains kind of like slippy and like silicone-y feeling is the best way I can describe it. Um, and it looks quite glossy on the lips, but I found that if I apply it and then blot it with the tissue, the glossiness goes away, kind of like with the OCC lip tars, where they go on quite glossy, but if you blot them, they look matte. Um, it lasted quite well. I wore it through eating and there was still a little bit of product on my lips. And I, did, I also didn't find that it like bled or like transferred or anything too badly. So while this isn't a traditional like true liquid lipstick, this is a pretty good one. I actually quite liked it. It was £6.99. Um, and like I said, um, I love these kinds of tones of colour for this time of year. The only thing I really don't like about it is the smell. Like it smells like vanilla perfume, like a perfume that like um uh like year seven, year eight like young preteen would wear, where it smells like vanilla chemicals, uh, and it tastes the same way. So if you get it in your mouth, it's not no no bueno. But um, I really like these actually. <laughs> they're uh, they're not matte liquid lipsticks, but they are a nice lip product in my opinion. Speaking of lip products, the only other lip product that I have purchased recently I'm really excited about and I really really love and it's gonna be my next monthly favourites. Seriously I fucking love this. This is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lipstick. This is like the new collection. They have like um, coloured packaging and they have the corresponding colour so the nude ones are in like brown, bronze, bronzy kind of packaging, the red ones are in this red packaging and the pink ones are in like a pink packaging and it's all metallic and I think it looks really really like high end and sleek and it feels heavy and nice. Uh, I got the colour Fired Up which is a matte and they have three different finishes, they have like a cream, a matte and a satin finish which I think is great because you don't see many different finishes from drugstore lipsticks advertised in that way like high end lipsticks do it. Um, I got the colour Fired Up like I said which is like a really orange red and I love me an orange like as I'm sure you know from my spring and summer lipstick thing, this time of year I wear orange lips all the time and this is such a nice wearable orange because it's a very very like red toned orange or an orange toned red rather and these are amazing, like this formula is hands down one of the best lipstick formulas I've ever tried it's so smooth, so pigmented, one swipe, it feels really really like soft and like hydrating despite the fact that this is a true true matte colour and it lasts amazingly. I wore it through eating and it was like stained on my lips and it took me a really long time to like wipe it off. I had to use fake makeup remover to like get it off my face. Uh, these are £9 which isn't the cheapest but Soap and Glory is on buy one get one at the moment or like buy one get one half price or something like that like two for one. I don't know. It's not a deal at the moment so I would definitely pick these up. They have a great colour selection that will suit a whole range of skin tones and a whole range of colour preferences. The packaging is beautiful and the colour payoff and the formula is insanely good so I would definitely definitely recommend these. Two more drugstore products before we get on to the good stuff, the uh, expensive stuff that I wasted my money on, <laughs> maybe. Uh, so I was really, really excited to see that this was coming to the UK. This is the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation. I think in America it's called the like Lumi Cushion or something, but in England it's called the L'Oreal Nude Magique Cushion Dewy Glow Foundation Makeup for a Glow. 
Um, and I don't know what colour mine is in because I like peeled off the sticker that said it. I feel like it was in like golden beige or something, which is quite a dark shade. I'm wearing it today. I feel like my fake tan has worn off a little bit, so it's slightly too dark for me, but when I'm fake tanned, it matches me perfectly and I wanted a, sh a shade that would suit me in the summer. So I'm sure you all know how these work. Comes with a little cushion and then, um, as you can see, I have used mine a little bit, but that's not my favourite way to apply it. I just have used it for touch-ups. Uh, and then you open the little case and that is where the foundation is. It's a very, like, sheer foundation and I really like it for a spring, summer, like, no makeup look because you can still see all the freckles I have on my nose, you can still see my spots in my under eyes, but I wear this and it feels really lightweight. It looks, look how glowy my skin looks. It looks so glowy and healthy and dewy and perfect. And then all you need to do is wear something like this and then spot conceal, put a concealer on under your eyes, you know, pinpoint conceal with a really heavy duty concealer like the Collection Lasting Perfection one. And you look flawless, but you look like you don't have any makeup on. And I think my skin looks great today. I've been wearing this a lot. I really, really love it. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last though, because I've heard these don't last very long. And this was 9.99, but that's, it's on offer at the moment. These cushion foundations are on offer currently for 9 99 in Super Dragon Boots, but after June, they go up to 14 99 which in my opinion is fucking ridiculous for a drugstore foundation where you do not get very much product, if you know what I mean. So I think I might go and buy another one of these in like a lighter shade and save that so that I don't have to repurchase it when it's £14 and I can just repurchase it when it's £10. So although I really, really like this and I love the finish it gives and the way it looks on my skin and just everything about it, I do think it's very overpriced considering, you know, the L'Oreal True Match is about £10 or the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, which is a very, very similar finish to this, apparently, I've not tried it, is around 10, 11 pounds, whereas this will be 15 pounds. I think it's just cause it's like a gimmick and stuff. Like that's why they can price it up so much. So although I do really like this, I would say that it's a bit overpriced. But if you want to try it out, I'd say go for it. Cause it's really, really great for dry skin. If you like a glowy finish. And the last drugstore thing that I got, I'm so excited about. I could actually like scream. I'm not even kidding. I could actually like cry how <laughs> excited I am about this. And that's really sad. This is a Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Neutrals versus Neutrals palette. And I have wanted this for so long. I kept seeing it on their Instagram maybe like a couple months ago. And I was just so excited. Um, and I know people really like their like chocolate bar, like dupe palettes, but I have the Too Faced chocolate bar palette and I didn't want to get a dupe. Um, and their Ultra 32 like pan palettes. But I have been wanting this. This is the neutrals versus neutrals. So like neutrals and then N E W trolls. Um, and it's like a lot of really, really warm toned eyeshadows. So you've got some like purpley tones, some like more orangey tones and your girl loves a really orange eye look. It also has some like shimmery shadows, but it has a lot of mattes and I love a palette with a lot of mattes. But it does have like a dark shimmery tone, some like goldy pinky ones, like some greys that are a little bit shimmery and satin, a peach. Comes with this little sheet that tells you the names of the eyeshadows, which I always lose, so I'm gonna try not to lose that. And then it also comes with a brush that's actually like, looks like pretty decent. So it's like a synthetic brush, but it's got like a flat shadery kind of style brush on this end. And then like a fluffy like crease brush. And I haven't used this palette yet. I've swatched it so I know it's good quality. I haven't used the palette or the brush yet, but it actually looks like this might be a decent brush. So there is just a few of the colours swatched. There's the like bronzy gold, some of the more like peachy reddy tones, and then that darkest glittery shade, which it's not picking up on camera, but in person it's got this like pinky glitter like all the way through it. Kind of like Black Heart from the Urban Decay Naked 3. Oh my god. I'm in love. Makeup Revolution palettes are really, really great quality, in my opinion. I, every single Makeup Revolution eye, eyeshadow palette that I have tried is awesome. I feel like the eyeshadows are very, very good quality for the price. And this is $6.99, so you can't really go wrong with that. So as for the higher end products that I bought, something that I'll show you that I've already been using in quite a few tutorials. It's focusing on these girls' faces and not on my face, that's really funny. Uh, this is a Becca kit, it's called the Best of Becca Blushed Radiance Kit and it comes with a sample size of Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed, the blush in Flower Child, their mineral blush, the liquid shimmering skin perfector in Moonstone and the backlight priming filter. 
I've been keeping these products in their box, in this box, so I wouldn't forget to talk about them in a video that's like really funny. I think I've used these in a few uh, tutorials and a few looks and I've been using them in my daily life. Um, I am wearing the Moonstone Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector um, on my cheekbones and centre of my face today, topped with MAC Light Scapade. So this is the liquid highlight. Comes with a little doe foot because it's like a sample size. And it's like a yellowy champagne pearl shade. It's like a very, very light shade, which is perfect for pale skin. And these work great on top of foundation, underneath foundation, even on top of powder, they work quite nicely. I like the fact that it's got a little doe foot, so I like just swipe it on, swipe it on, and then dab it out with a beauty blender, and it works fantastically. And I'm really excited to put this in my everyday makeup bag, I'm not gonna lie. This is the Backlight Priming Filter, which is their primer, comes a little pump. The full size of this is very, very expensive. Um, and I don't know whether this does anything different than my MAC strobe cream. It definitely has like a different undertone than MAC strobe cream, but I feel like it has a very similar effect and the MAC strobe cream is much cheaper than this. But I do like this and I like the way it smells. I just dropped it. Like it smells really nice. So I will continue to use this and like form my opinion on it, but honestly I just feel like you could use the MAC strobe cream, which is way cheaper. Uh, but I do like this and this is a very hyped up product and I was very, very excited to try it. Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal is like a goldy like bronze shade. I've been using this a ton. I wore this yesterday. I've been wearing it a lot. It's like a very, very intense, like champagne, light gold kind of color. I don't know if you can see it, it's right there. So beautiful. I like topping. I do really like wearing this on top of the Moonstone liquid or as a highlight on its own or on top of any other cream highlights. It's amazing. You don't need very much. A little goes a very, very long way and it doesn't look too fake on the skin, but it's a very, very intense highlight, which is what I like. So I, I fucking love this. I feel like that tiny sample size will last me a very, very long time as well. And the last product is the Mineral Blush in Moonchild. I know they came out with some shimmering skin perfector like blush things lately and this is different. This is not the same formula. This is like a NARS orgasm kind of colour, like a peachy, orangey kind of blush with like gold shimmer. It's not as intense as like NARS orgasm or Sleek Rose Gold or any of those other like dupes of it. I have not, I don't actually own NARS orgasm. Uh, but it's that same kind of color family where it's like a peachy orangey pink, if that makes any sense. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not wearing this today, but I have been wearing this a lot and I really, really like it. It blends out very, very nicely. It's like a satiny shimmery finish, but not too like glittery, which I don't always love glitter in blushes. I prefer matte blushes generally, but I really, really like this. Um, I decided to get a kit from Becca just because I never tried any of their products before and I wanted to check they were worth the hype before I went out and spent £32 on a highlighter. But I definitely think that now that I've tried this that I'd be more interested in getting something like Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop collab with them or she just announced a new collaboration with them which I hope will come to Cult Beauty. I really hope the new collab will come to Cult Beauty because if it does then I really really want to buy it. <laughs> um, but yeah I definitely think that these products are 100% worth the hype. Not so much the primer necessarily but I haven't used it enough times to make a 100% formed decision on it but the highlighting and blush products 100% worth the hype worth money. They are fantastic quality. Is cup broken? Since when has this cup been broken? Speaking of, oh why am I not in focus? Speaking of uh, cheap products, I've been wanting one of the Clinique cheap pops for a really long time and I decided basically after exams, uh, during exams, I like made a list of all the products that I wanted to buy and I like narrowed it down to just a few things so that I wouldn't be spending like a shit ton of money. And this was on there and I didn't know what colour I wanted but I think I, I picked really well. This is Ginger Pop by Clinique and I love these kinds of like peachy warm toned blushes as opposed to pink blushes. Um, these are great, they're like not too pigmented. They're not too pigmented, they share out quite nicely. So that's it there on the very bottom. It's like an orangey warm toned blush and I love these. I love like MAC Melba, um, Sleek Rose Gold, this Becca blush, like I love warm tones instead of like pinks necessarily. And this is nice, it's not too pink, it's not too orange though either. And um, it was just the color that was the most unique to my collection, but also the, mo the most wearable for me in my everyday life. And look how cute the packaging is. I've been wanting one of these for so long, so I'm really glad that I splurged. And the last two things I got were both from Urban Decay. I really, really wanted to get Sin, the new Sin highlight, but it was the only one that was sold out and I was really, really mad. So I'm either gonna wait and go again before I go home or go to Debenhams when I'm at home and pick it up later on, you know? Like I will pick it up eventually because I know that the highlights are permanent and they're not limited edition I don't think. So I will own it eventually. 
alas today was not the day i needed to pick up a, another one of my all nighter setting spray because i really 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 love this and also i nearly had i i have nearly used up my all nighter setting spray that i had but it's gone missing. I actually don't know where it is. Um, it was in my room. I don't know whether one of my housemates borrowed it and has just not put it back yet or whether I have lost it slash thrown it away by accident or like dropped it behind. I don't know what's happened to it basically. So although I did need a new one of these anyway in the near future, I needed to buy one because I've lost mine. Um, and these little ones are only like nine pounds, which is a pretty decent price considering considering um, these last a really, really long time. So yeah, I love this. It's like super glue. It's like, it keeps your face on all day. And the last thing that I bought, I'm really excited about, I got the Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector. So this is their, like, basically their new BB cream, essentially. Okay, so it's white writing on this, like, silver packaging, and I can't actually read it. It says, An immediate improvement in the look of skin tone that lasts for up to eight hours. A significant improvement in radiance after 12 weeks of use. Significantly firmer feeling skin after 12 weeks of use. Visibly smaller looking pores after eight weeks of use. Best of both worlds, this hybrid complexion cream combines the benefits of a sheer foundation with the coverage of a tinted moisturiser. And our high-tech weightless formula feels amazing on your skin. So it's supposed to like instantly blur perfections and not have like a, uh, a fuck ton of coverage basically, like be a BB cream as opposed to a foundation. Um, I like the fact that it's in a squeezy tube but also comes with a pump. I've not used this yet. The girl colour matched me in the store but I've not actually worn it all over my face. Surprisingly, I thought it would have a thinner texture but it has a reasonably like creamy texture. But it blends out so easily. Like can you even, can you even see that on my hand? It feels very nice. It feels like it's got like a primer mixed into it almost. It feels like, um, has like a silicone-y slip to it, but not, nothing too crazy. I'm in the lightest shade, which is light, but it's slightly too dark for me like naturally. So I feel like it will be a really good match for me in the summer. And the reason I wanted to buy it is because I wanted a really, really lightweight, uh, you know, daily kind of foundation to wear when I go on holiday in Thailand, you know, when I'm like out in the sun all the time, it's got SPF 20 in it. So that's perfect to wear all over, you know, when you're out in the sun and also just to wear on lighter coverage days. Like I said, with the cushion foundation, I'm really into like a really lightweight base at the moment with like pinpoint concealing and like under eye concealer um, and having my skin look really natural and beautiful. So I'm very, very excited to use that. If you want me to do a first impressions on uh, any of the products mentioned actually, then please let me know. I d I'm especially interested in doing a first impressions on the um, Urban Decay foundation and the uh, Neutrals versus Neutrals palette. In fact, if you want me to do like a full face first impressions or a specific review or impression video on any of these products, then please let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to do that. Also, if you have any requests for videos, then please let me know because now that my exams are over, I have a little bit more time to film and I'm very excited to be filming some videos. I've got some cool ones in the pipeline involving stuff with my housemates, so you'll finally get to meet them and things like that. So um, yeah, let me know down in the comments if you have any videos that you would like me to make and I'll get onto that. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you did and you'd like to, then please uh, subscribe to my channel and give video a thumbs up. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr or Instagram, they'll all be linked down in the description along with everything that I'm wearing and what's on my face right now. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!